Okay, so uh, this morning we have a, a briefing on the situation in Central African Republic. Uh, we will have uh, actually four briefers. Uh, uh, of course, a special representative, Mr. Ndai, um, also the representative of the African Union, but also the EU, uh, which is very involved in the peace process in Central uh, African Republic. And, um, uh, and finally, uh, the ambassador of Morocco as a PBC chair for Central African Republic and is uh, just coming back from, from the country, so uh, that will be interesting. And the idea is really see where we are in the implementation of the peace process. It has been just a year um, that this, been this peace process has been, uh, has been launched. Uh, so it's a good moment to take stock of the situation. Also ahead of the elections, uh, which are coming uh, coming soon. So it's a, it's an important moment. Can I ask on South Sudan, Ambassador? There's uh, an announcement that the government of national unity will be formed. <laughs> yes. Well, I've seen the announcement, but I, I think we have to um, to check exactly what what is the situation. But so I cannot say more than that right now. Oh, well, of course. I mean, that's, this, is, this is you know what we want to to to, to before the, the end of the deadline, which is uh, coming uh, very soon, um, to have uh, indeed a transitional government in place. Yes. So we certainly hope this is true, uh, and uh, I guess we will see in a few hours uh, whether that is confirmed. On the Libya, Ambassador, what should we expect from the European operation in the Mediterranean? Um, it seems that the, un the European Union has agreed on yes. putting it together again. Yes, on Monday. Well, I mean, the, the, let's say the operation was uh, always there, uh, but there was no uh, ships, no uh, boats. And now they've decided to uh, again uh, um, um, have, have boats participating in the operation, not only planes, but also boats. Uh, which are very um, essential uh, if you want to enforce the arms embargo in, in an efficient, uh, effective way, uh, you need boats. Uh, and that decision was taken by the EU on Monday. You mean these boats will use force when necessary to uh, implement the arms embargo? How much uh, they can do against uh, any violation? I don't know the details, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to go into, into that. But the idea is really that, that one, to indeed Im help implement the, the arms embargo. OK, and, and sorry, I forgot to say, this afternoon we have a, another uh, meeting of the Security Council on Haiti, uh, Binu. So that's also um, a, a very important moment to see where the, the new mission is. How is it uh, going? The situation is very difficult in Haiti, as you know. Um, and we will have a special representative, but also a briefer by the social, a representative of the social society. I think that will be a very interesting testimony on, on the situation you know, in the streets uh, in Haiti. Ambassador, the Israeli Prime Minister has announced that he's approving thousands of new settlement units in occupied Palestinian territory. Do you have a comment? Um, no, I haven't seen that, so I'm, I have no comments, no. Thank you. Thank you.